Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video we're going to be doing my top favourite makeup brushes and I just thought it was a bit of a different video. I've never done anything like this and yeah I just thought it'd be quite interesting to see which brushes I use because I do do quite a few tutorials and I know a lot of you ask so I just thought it'd be a really interesting video for you guys to see and I really hope that you enjoy it. Make sure you thumbs up, comment and subscribe and let's get straight on into the video. So I'm going to start off with face brushes. I haven't got any foundation brushes because I feel like I alternate a lot because they can get dirty very quickly. I like to alternate between my Real Technique complexion sponge. I use the multitask brush a lot for my foundation because it gives a really nice airbrushed effect. And I also use the Real Techniques buffing brush a lot. I love Real Techniques for foundation brushes because I feel like you can really buff them in and work them in because they're very dense. So that's sort of it for foundation brushes and then I'm gonna move on to powder and sort of concealer. I feel like in the makeup world, like industry, it'd be very difficult to point out someone that doesn't own a Real Techniques contour brush. These are my favorite brushes. I'm using these for so many different things. I don't think I've ever really used these for contour because I've never sort of found, I've always found that they just sort of mark out your cheekbones too much and I quite like a blended out look. So I use these for two different things. One, I use it for blending out my concealer under my eyes because it just fits in the little tip so well and I conceal it out with one and I use the other one to sort of use my loose powders to bake and it's in the right places it blends it out really well and then you can just sort of tap in the loose powder and then brush it away with the contour brush and it's just the correct size it fits under your eyes so nicely they're just my favorite for that job and I feel like again powders over your eyes to set like, like if I use my matte paint put on my eyelids again to like use a loose powder over your eyes again these are just the best for putting powder in small places or under your eyes so that is one of my favorite brushes another one I use for powder is one of these new ones oh this is one of the most prettiest brushes that I own and this is a Lily England it, does, it doesn't have a Pacific name but this is just a I think it's a powder brush like it's big enough to be a powder brush or you could use it for bronzer or blush or anything you like but I use it for powder and it's so soft like honestly really really soft and you just dust this all over your face and it gives the nicest effect Lily England were kind enough to send me these brushes and I have a foundation one a powder one and I think an eyebrow a liner an eyeliner an eyeliner and a blending out brush so I really love these brushes you can get these on Amazon or through Lily England I'll leave the link below but you should definitely try them out because they are so so good I'm gonna do these brushes together because these are the bold metal real technique brushes and this is the bold metals um, the numbers rubbed off um, contour brush and this is so so good I use these a lot I use this one a lot with my Ellie Golding powder blush contour brown thing yeah <laughs> And this is so so good like honestly it fits in the hollows of your cheeks so well and this like weirdly blends out really well which you wouldn't think it would because it's so dense but this is also really really good because like the NARS ET brush which a lot of people either want or have because it's so expensive um, dipping it in a loose powder and baking the side of your contour as well really helps to get a really defined look and I love that with this brush and also a bonus is it looks so pretty with all your makeup stuff so I love that brush and again with the bold metals collection this one still has a number on it and this is the bold metals 100 brush and I love this very similar to the MAC um I don't want to say the number because I can't remember what it is it's like the one that Hannah Renee uses um, a lot. It's very dense. I mean, not like, I don't use it for powder because I feel like it's a bit too dense. But um, it's very thin and sculpted, so it makes it really good for doing a contour. And I just love it. And blends out powder really well for a really natural look. So I definitely recommend these brushes. Although they're very, like, although they're quite pricey for Real Techniques as a brand, I think that they're definitely worth it because they are very comparable to MAC brushes. So keep that in mind and they're just really nice and they always have them on offer like in sets of three usually. I'll have a look and see if there is and leave any links to some below. I then haven't included any eye brushes in this tutorial because I feel like it's quite self-explanatory like everybody knows what brushes suit them or which ones work. Morphe do really good eye ones, MAC obviously do really good eye ones, the 217 is one of my favourites from MAC. 
on eBay and Amazon, they do so many good ones as well. Like, I love eBay and Amazon ones. I have one here, actually. This one is from Amazon, and someone actually sent me this off of Amazon, a company. And these work so, so well, so I love that. Another eye one I love is this Real Techniques one, and this is a angle shadow brush. And I don't know if you can get this in a more permanent set, but this is from a... I think this is a Sam's Picks or Nick's Picks. It's either one collection. And this is silver. And this is honestly one of my favourite ending out brushes as well. So I'll try and link any which is again similar to this. Where this is angled, it's quite good for like getting in the corners really well. So yeah, that's that one. Then my final brush is obviously an eyebrow brush. And this is this Isla brush. Now this is obviously very, very, very similar to the Anastasia eyebrow brush, which obviously none of us can really get here in the UK. I'm not sure if Cult Beauty do the brush because I know they do the pomade but this is the brush this is so cheap but so good it's got the spoolie on one end angled brush on the other and this is so good like I use this every single day since I've got it in my brows I was kindly sent this from Isla with a pot of pomade and one of their new brow pencils the eyebrow products from Isla are so good and I'll link all my favorites again below so definitely try Isla out for eyebrow products because who would have known they're so good at them so that was the finished video I really hoped you liked it it was very different to anything I usually do but I really enjoyed filming it again um, I'll try and leave the links to the brushes I mentioned below because that's quite helpful for you guys and yeah I really hope you hope you liked it make sure you comment any future videos you'd like to see and I'll see you soon bye but it did come to my attention that I had so many eyeshadow palettes like which I've been loving at the moment but I couldn't just pick one of them so I decided to share them all with you so I got three which actually isn't a lot but they will have like quite a few colors in them and they are all pretty new this one is a couple months old so I'll start with this one